Well, I'm a believer that last year was a bit of an outlier in that you didn't see like uh, uh, Joe Burrow or uh, Trevor Lawrence or, you know, uh, Mac. You didn't, you didn't have that first round NFL quarterback winning the national title. Because I think that's, that's kind of the trend. I, I think last year was a bit of an outlier in that sense. I don't expect that to happen again. I think that I think you got to have a trigger. As I say, you got to have a trigger. And nine times out of ten, you got to have a really good quarterback. And obviously, Bryce Young is that. C.J. Stroud is that. So if we're going to shrink that down on a more granular level to a divisional play, I look at the East and I see Hendon Hooker, who led the league last year in passing efficiency, despite Tennessee losing like forty-four players. I mean, that, that just smacks you in the face. They lost how many guys? Mm-hmm. Like 44, okay? And he wasn't even the starter at the beginning of last year. By the end of the year, he let – so do the coordinators in the league, do they figure out what Tennessee's doing and what Heupel's brought, or is this, is this a serious threat? Is Tennessee on to something here, right? So I think you've got to count Tennessee as a, as, as a potential um, you know, dark horse. And Kentucky, I mean, Will Levis, I thought Will Levis looked good last year. And Kentucky was not a pushover for Georgia. They, they play very similar style. They play good defense. They run the ball well. You know, Chris Rodriguez is a guy that's been in the league a while. Um, you know, he had a little off-field incident. What, what, what's going to happen with him? But Georgia's got to play at Kentucky in November. That's not a lot of fun. It could be awful cold in Lexington in November. So I think Kentucky and, and Tennessee. And, and then you've got to say that Spencer Radler and South Carolina are a little bit of a wild card. I mean, they catch Georgia early in Columbia, week three. Um, so, you know, who knows what's you – know, Freddie Kitchens is there now. I mean, you guys remember Freddie now. Freddie was – Freddie's got some football now. If he's been around the block, how much could he help Spencer Red? So those are a few teams that I wonder a little bit about. I mean, Georgia is a prohibitive favorite, but I think all three of those teams have a puncher's chance. 